all radioactive nuclei decay by first-order kinetics, which means that the rate of decay is directly proportional to the number of nuclei present and given by the equation rate equals the rate constant times capital N, which is the number of nuclei present. If a radioactive nuclei has larger rate constant, the nuclei decays more quickly. Nuclear scientists often talk about radioactive decay in terms of a half-life, which is the amount of time required for half of a sample to decay. The half-life, denoted by a lowercase t with a one-half subscript, is related to the rate constant by the equation t one-half equals 0 0.693 divided by the rate constant. Since the half-life and the rate constant are inversely related, nuclides with large rate constants have short half-lives and decay quickly. Since radioactive decay is a first-order process, the rate of decay slows or decreases as more of the sample decays. After one half-life, 50% of the sample remains, but after two half-lives, 25% of the original sample remains. This can be seen in a graph of the number of radon-220 nuclei versus time. Since radon-220 has a half-life of one minute, if we start with one million nuclei, there will be 500,000 nuclei remaining after one minute, or one half-life. After two half-lives, or two minutes, only 250,000 nuclei of radon-220 remain. After watching this video, you should be able to understand that radioactive decay follows first-order kinetics. You should be able to describe the relationships between half-life, rate constant, and decay rate. You should also be able to use a graph of the number of nuclei versus time to identify the half-life of a given nuclide.